Hey guys, it's Alexi coming at you with this week's installment of Retro Gaming Goodness. Now when it comes to video games of the old school variety, there's definitely a wide selection to choose from. Whether it be straight up classics you played 20 years ago, a refined version of an already awesome retro gem, or a totally new beast with a vintage coat of paint. Best believe we have our eyes peeled. The same goes for consoles that seem to be popping up left and right. There's literally a whole lot to unpack. But as we go through our catalog of action-packed titles, we got a couple that might pique your interest this week. Aside from that, a very large and very fun gaming machine from the past might just find its way into your fingertips. If you're curious, stick around to know more. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe so you'll always be up to date with the latest retro news. Click that bell icon so you'll know exactly when our news goes live. Let's go! If you're a proud owner of a Commodore 64, then we have a game that might provide quite the challenge for you. We're talking about a homebrew that recently made waves and made appeal to those who like a game with a good amount of difficulty. Thanks to D-Regiment, we're looking at a C64 release for Hermanos, a neat new puzzle platformer with a bit of a kick. The game sees players taking control of good old Hermanos through 20 challenging levels, collecting gold as you go along. The challenge here lies with the movement. Hermanos can't jump or climb, he can only warp himself into a certain position. In the end, you need to reach the end hole of the current level to reach the next one. As if that wasn't hard enough, you only have 250 seconds to get the job done. So if you think you've got what it takes, grab a couple of your hermanos and challenge them to a game of hermanos. Now for some brutal barbaric action on the Amiga. If you're familiar with the work of Tiger Skunk, like in Via, there's a new game in town, and it definitely packs a punch. We got a brand new demo to his upcoming side scroller called Kroghar, a new OCS action slasher that not only looks good, but hits hard. While we only have a demo to work with, we do have a bit of info about the game. The game's plot involves the evil Chieftain Pulsator who stole all the beer from Kroghar's home village. And we know what happens when you steal all the beer from a barbarian. A whole lot of action, packed fun for everyone, except Pulsator. As of now, it's confirmed that the game should work on each Amiga model with 512k chip plus 512k extra RAM from A1000 upwards. As for its release, we might be getting it this April. So if you want to help Kroghar get the party restarted, keep your eyes peeled next month. Now for something less violent, but way more retro. If you've ever played on a pinball machine or fooled around on the only starting game that was any fun on Windows NT and had a whole lot of fun, then the Flip on Go might be up your alley. Designed and created by Giacomo Carlini, this cute little console has one focus, and one focus alone, pinball. Yes, you won't be able to emulate or play anything else on this doohickey, but from aesthetics alone, it's worth checking out. While that may be the case, you do get a few cool modern gaming themes like Valorant, Overwatch, and League of Legends. If Giacomo comes up with a Baldur's Gate 3 version, maybe we'll see. The Flip One Go is still a concept though, so don't expect it to come out anytime soon. It's definitely a cool novelty gadget that'll find its place into any collector's stash, or maybe into the hands of someone who misses good old 3D pinball. And there you have it, another week of street retro gaming goodness. If you have suggestions for any news to cover, if we missed anything, let us know down below. As always, don't forget to like the video so YouTube's algorithm shows us some love. Again, I'm Alexi, and I'll catch you all again next time.